Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. A suspect is under arrest in a series of murders in the Tampa, Florida area. Howley Donaldson III was arrested Tuesday evening at a Tampa McDonald's after an alert employee exposed his dumb mistake. Police believe he is the Florida serial killer sought in the shooting deaths of four people. According to authorities, Donaldson went into the McDonald's and asked the manager there to hold his book bag while he went to cash a check at a nearby establishment. Donaldson told the manager not to look in the bag, which of course raised the red flag with the manager. After Donaldson left, the manager looked in the bag and saw a gun. Well aware of the multiple shooting deaths in the area, the manager called police, who responded and arrested Donaldson when he returned. Four individuals in the area had been shot to death in recent weeks, and while police believe they have the man responsible, the gun recovered has not yet been linked to the deaths left. NBC News reports on the Florida serial killer. The man believed to be responsible for a series of shootings deaths in Tampa, Florida was detained Tuesday and police plan to charge him with four counts of first-degree murder, authorities said. Acting on a tip about someone with a gun, officers found the man, identified as Howie Donaldson III, 24, at a McDonald's in Tampa's Boer City neighborhood, police chief Brian Duggan told reporters. Tonight, Goodness has won, Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn said. Tonight in the battle between darkness and light, light has won. Duggan gave no further information about Donaldson, including his hometown, saying charging documents were still being drafted. But he said he believed Donaldson may have worked at the restaurant at some point. Florida records indicated that Donaldson has no criminal past beyond a handful of traffic citations. He was arrested in New York City in May 2014 but details about the case were not immediately available. Peebo Johnson, an employee of the McDonald's, told NBC affiliate WFLA that he was working the grill station when a man walked into the restaurant carrying a book bag. He said that the man asked the manager to hold the bag for him while he went to cash a check but that he told her not to look inside it. She looked anyway, Johnson said. That was when she found the gun and called police. When the man came back, officers converged to swarm him, get him to the ground, Johnson said. Police have said they believe the deaths of four people since early October in the Seminole Heights neighborhood may be connected, although they haven't said why. Benjamin Mitchell, 22, was shot while he was waiting for a bus on October 9. Monica Hoffa, 32, was found dead in a vacant lot on October 13. Anthony Niboa, 20, was killed while he was walking on October 19. The body of Ronald Felton, 60, was found November 14 near the scene of a memorial honoring the first three victims. Duggan said at a news conference earlier in the day that officers had recovered the gun but that it wasn't yet known whether it was the gun used in one or more of the recent killings. Angelic Dupree, Mitchell's cousin, said in an interview that an arrest would bring closure and relief, relief for us, but more so for the city itself, because it's been on pins and needles. Even if it's not the gay, just to know they got somebody with a gun off the street is a good thing, Dupree said. Hoffa's father, Kenny Hoffa, said, I'm praying this is the end to all this nightmare we've been going through. Hoffa told NBC News that he plans to travel to Tampa from South Carolina, where he lives, to be in court as soon charges are brought. I want to know who he is and why he did such a terrible thing, he said. Post your thoughts on the Florida serial killer in the comment section below. In addition, share this on social media. Social media.